Hi everybody, I'm Cheryl and welcome back to my dad's YouTube channel, Blossoms Gardening Tips. In today's video, we are going to be making compost in a bottle. So first, we need to take a bottle and cut the top off. Once we have cut the top off, we need to make holes throughout the bottle. The holes in the bottle will help all the materials inside the bottle to decompose properly. The holes will also help all the excess water from the bottle to escape the bottle. After making the holes, we are now going to create the compost pile. Our first layer will be soil and later on we will be alternating greens and browns. Greens are materials which are high in moisture and they are wet. For example, fresh grass clippings, fresh vegetable waste and fruit peels etc. Browns are layers which are dried up and dehydrated like dry grass, dry leaves, wood chips, paper, cardboard etc. We need to use both of them in equal quantities. If we use too many greens then our compost will end up becoming soggy and stinky. If we use too many browns then our compost will take really long time to decompose and break down. Our final layer will be soil. So our compost pile is ready now. Once our compost pile is ready, we will be keeping it in a sunny spot. Warm climate speeds up the decomposition process. We need to make sure that our compost is moist at all times. So make sure to add some water to it every now and then and do not let it dry out. Do not add too much water or make it soggy, it will end up getting rotten. Every few days check up on your compost. You will notice small changes every time you visit your compost pile. Don't forget to give your compost a good stir every few days because that will help in decomposition of all particles at an equal pace. Few days later, you can see that your compost has reduced in size. This is because the moisture is leaving the compost and the breakdown has begun. Slowly, you will also realize that your compost is changing in color. It is becoming darker in color. Few 
few weeks later i have realized that my compost is almost ready there are certain lumps which are there which need to get decomposed i believe in a couple of weeks my compost will be fully ready so guys as you can see the compost is resembling soil at this point this is a big indicator that my compost is ready you can see that there are some particles which are not fully decomposed so i am going to leave them in the compost pile so that they can decompose further and i'm going to use the remaining as compost compost is a great fertilizer rich in npk npk are the elements which are most needed by the plants they are nitrogen phosphorus and potassium you can use compost in your potting mix or you can also top up your pots with compost every few weeks this brings me to the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed today's video please don't forget to like share and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video goodbye